Hello everyone, I'm Caleb with Danzy Design Build and today we're talking about how you can turn your basement into a legal accessory dwelling unit, an internal accessory dwelling unit, an IADU or a basement apartment. There's five simple steps, we're going to talk about them in this video today, so stay tuned. So the first thing is to keep family close. A lot of people enjoy being able to have their parents or their older children be able to have a portion of the home and have that second space available to them for some time. So the next thing that people really enjoy about having a basement apartment or like a second unit in their home is that they have an additional income stream there. It's a really good return on investment, though it is a sizable investment and a large home improvement project. It does come back in the long run and is a very good return for the money. Going along with the last item, this one's going along those same thoughts, but it will also increase the value of the home over time. So if and when you ever did sell the property, that value would be there. So how do we go through the process and what is the process of making a basement, an unfinished basement into a legal second suite or basement apartment? These are called IADUs in Utah, internal accessory dwelling units is what that stands for. And so the first step of doing that would be to verify that the particular property that you own allows for that to happen. So checking the codes, covenants, restrictions, and the zoning of your property will give you a really good idea if that's possible for you in your particular area. From there, we're going to be jumping into the preliminary design phase of the project. So we're gonna be scoping out where would be an ideal location for an external entry, where should the kitchen be placed? What would be an ideal layout of the basement? We're gonna be drawing some preliminary plans and bringing those things together in that way at that time. So the next step would be to further develop the design and finalize that with the person who owns the property. And then from there, we'll be able to get any engineering done that will be required for the walkout or any load bearing walls that are inside the basement that may be needing to be moved. And from that step, we can actually pull together the estimate for the project and what it will actually cost to build. And in that process, we'll also be going through selections, choosing flooring, cabinetry, paint, carpet, tile, and all the kind of variable items that are involved with this type of construction. So once the final design is completed and the estimate is completed, we'll actually move into applying for the permits. So that will be the next step along with signing the building agreement. So from there, once we get the building agreement signed and the permits are active and ready to go from the local city, then at that point we'll actually jump into the next step, which is the actual construction of the project. After the construction is done, the last thing we need to do is verify that the final inspection will count towards the internal accessory dwelling unit inspection to verify that everything is safe and good enough for the city standards to allow someone else to be renting that space. So if you need help, turning your basement into an, a basement apartment, you can reach us on our website, danzydesignbuild.com and schedule a consultation there. We'll reach right back out to you and we look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks and have a great week. Bye.